Welcome to another Harpoon Gaming Adventure. I am your captain, Harpoon Charlie. And this is a little place that I call home, but we can all call it Harpoon Headquarters. Where we're going to be breaking down tutorials, walkthroughs, gameplay, strategy, secret places, and much more of different styles of games through different platforms. So, if at any given time in this video you find anything useful or teaches us something that you may not have known, hit that like button for me, subscribe, and turn on that little bell no icon so that way we can help this channel grow. Let's play. Alright guys, <clears throat> welcome to uh, the second installment, if you will, I'm right here with uh, your Captain Harpoon Charlie. This is day two. As you, as you can see, I haven't logged in since the other day when we actually first started, but... But this will be <clears throat> the second day trying this game. Collect our meat there. Get collecting all the meats. Look at all the meat, 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 meat. meat. Yep, and as you can see, I've done nothing else. So I waited on you guys, man. See, that's how nice I am. I did nothing else. I waited on us to be together here to see the evolution of this character. Now let's go over here. I want some more berries instead of the uh, bangers. Yeah, no more weapons. Looking for a pipe or something. I can take one of them stone axes or something with me. So I don't even know what the hell. Sound effects here. It's usually sound effects with that. Oh, huh. for some reason, <clears throat> the sound was turned off on that. That was weird. I was waiting to hear a little crunch of the berries, and it never happened. Okay, so we're all strapped up with all this. Let's go to uh, day two here. At Spruce Grove. I'm looking for two bags at Spruce Grove. Yeah. Hanger gates. Craft a throwing knife. Let's grab four metal and the rocks. Build a garden bed and fix the inventory. And also fix the radio. For some reason, I feel like day two, if I was to do all the quests here, it just gets fucking insane and probably difficult to keep up. <clears throat> so I'll tell you what we're going to do because it's just comfortable, it's more comfortable for me. We're going to do all the way up to the, observe, the uh, observation tower and the radio. Ready to play. From the co-designer of the hit title Civilization comes Age of Empires. From the Stone Age to the Iron Age, experience 10,000 years of amazing discoveries as you build your tribe into a great civilization. Will you explore new lands, amass great riches, or conquer all in your path? You choose your favorite form of world domination. Age of Empires. Observation tower, 
of what could happen after opening up the observation tower. Spruce Grove. And then there was some other shits about somethings. So let's go take a look. Where's Spruce Grove is? Oh, I got lucky there. Where's Spruce Grove? What is this? This is the rocks. This is the other place that they want me to go to. So this one was a little bit less dangerous than this one. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do. And yeah, what it looks like. Yeah. So in the last video we <clears throat> we saw a clock down here in the uh, left hand corner of the screen. I said update in twenty six hours or whatever, something like that, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, what happens is these little mini maps actually update their resources. So, say, like something like this Spruce Grove one. Say, I just wanted to collect a bunch of fucking wood. Um, I believe you just keep hitting up Spruce Grove. I'm not sure yet. We're going to have to find out there. So, what we're going to do is we're going to run to Spruce Grove there. So, we're going to take a smoke break while we're dipping down behind this tree, though. <laughs> trees. And we're smoking some trees. Smoke break on some trees. That's funny. At least I think it is. Don't you move at me, cow. I mean, I can't ever find a cow in this game yet. They're there. I can't find them. But they're out there. You can hear them. You hear it? It sounds like a cow. Mer. Oh. It's a puppy. <coughs> Come here, puppy. <coughs> you don't belong here. Begin to chop down the trees when I'm ready. <clears throat> but we all know what my objective is first. Let's take everything out. We're gonna kill everything first. I see someone. It's a boar. Oh, and a zombie. Let's go, Simon. What's up, bitch? There's a skull fell over there on that tree. You ain't even carrying nothing, you broke ass son of fuck. These animals are a little bit more keen than zombies are in this game. I, I have noticed that. Like the that boar will see you quicker than the zombie will for some reason, unless you're going up against someone like Georgie, Georgie boy. Oh, speak of the devil. I think that's Georgie boy himself. Oh, huh. I see something lurking in the distance, hiding in the ground. Scuzzle butt. The scuzzle butt going on over here. Oh! <gasps> 
Quack. And I had thought about just charging up in there and just trying to take these motherfuckers all out and just seeing how badass of a dude I have. But, uh... <laughs> definitely until I'm like 100% sure on an easy way of getting rid of the mutation that's up there. That little 27% thing. Until I'm officially aware of how to get rid of that easily. Oh shit, there's another cluster of motherfuckers right there. Then, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna wait to bum rush in these motherfuckers, or else I just bum rush up on these two, Little Georgie boy and homeboy over here, and they get some, but not today. Oh, Georgie, you got nothing on you? Disappointed, Georgie. First one will rock your dome. You didn't have nothing on your ass either. Disappointed, gentlemen. Damn, I hit his ass good. Gonna rock this shit. See if this is it. Let's allow I'm at 30% now. I've been being cautious. That shit don't matter. comes in the world apocalypse. <laughs> Zombies running amok, you think they really care? They're gonna get you a little bit infected? No, no, that's the whole job is to bite your face off. Oh shit, there's a wolf. Now, see, I like to give the animals at least a decent chance. I like to run up on them. Still hit his ass pretty good. There's another shiny object back there. Dun, 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 dun. What you doing? Oh, hiding and stuff. I like hidey objects. A little hidey hole. What is that blue sand shit? Oh, yeah? Oh. oh. Very nice. I like that. Just death from the book. Got him, dude. Nice. That was quick survival of shit right there, man. Like, why you man get away from me? Whack. To the dome piece, little deer. I'm just making sure there's nobody left. trying to see if there's anything that would match up in the bag that I currently already have and it doesn't look that way. But at least those couple crates on my way out to this side of the this side of the map. Yeah. Mm, I guess. 
We're gonna head home. Run, boys! Run! And door a little bit, another little smoke break. two hours so I'm pretty sure what's going to happen is it's going to update itself and then and all the resources and stuff will be here all the, the zombies and stuff too more than likely so <clears throat> auto pick run little fella run Collect everything for you. Fix the hangar gates. Right after I'm done collecting all this stuff, you tell me how to live my life. And since we're visiting another tree, <laughs> got a smoke break. Let me know out there in the comments below if you guys smoke, man. And I appreciate it if you just go ahead and uh, uh, go ahead and uh, click that subscribe button for me. Give me a thumbs up that and turn on that little bell icon once again. That way we can just go ahead and you get notified every time I come out with another video. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> I plan on doing many other games and leave comments below if you guys uh go ahead and and uh if there's some there's another little mobile app game you guys want us to go ahead and check out and put up here for you guys give you a little walkthrough demonstrations or tips or tricks or anything now certain games i've never played before so obviously i've got to get used to them dig around a little bit but you know the time's there for me to be able to do this As a pirate captain, I have insomnia. I don't ever sleep. <clears throat> and man, he is just collecting his little ass off. Run, little feller. Yeah, I was just about to say, uh, I was just about to check on that. <laughs> I heard a growl, I heard, what was it, what was the quote? I heard a rumbling last night. I thought it was thunder, but it turns out it's Satan's belly, or whatever the fuck, I don't remember. Movie Constantine, this is a good movie. Papa Midnight. Chop down cherry tree. Oh, that's it for me. Chop down old cherry tree. 
Okay, so I need clay to do that, I'm pretty sure. That's gonna be at the other place they're telling me to visit. Let's see how much space I got in my bag. I got quite a bit of space in my bag still. How about that? Mm -hmm. I'm lost. There's some land markings. Okay, I'm back on track. Anything in here? Nothing in this one. There's stuff in this one. <coughs> Come back and do one more little good looky loo Hold on spruce spruce be downs water. Spruce be downs in a hundred a third over there shit man. repetitious on certain things just running around combining shit and making sure because eventually I'll get all oh everything needs to be perfect in my bags everything's got just the wood and everything's got just stone and everything's got just grass and everything's got just medicine and everything's got random supplies and because <clears throat> that's how I fucking roll man Pipe only. What's up? Special motherfucking zombies brains. Viewer discretion is advised. These are their stories. I practiced that one when you had, uh, I don't know how you know, I sound on that one. These are their stories. My girlfriend sounds like, she's like, hey, you sound like just like them. Don't know about that, baby. These are her stories. Dun dun! Because <laughs> why not? Alright, that one's empty. This one was empty, I believe. It's always good to double check. This one was empty. This one wasn't empty. But I grabbed everything. I think, uh, besides, yeah, I think that's it. <clears throat> I think besides finishing these couple of daily challenge things off, we should head over to Betty's house and help that out. No requirement for a level one trailer home. Level one hangar gate, so I'm about to fix the hangar gate anyway. <clears throat> so I'll get a little bit closer to the in my goals here. Yellow, and that's because of that 
bars like that, but the rest of his shit's pretty green right here, so he's pretty good <coughs> on weapons and stuff. Said something about crafting some of these throwing knives anyway. How many ropes does it take? It takes three ropes. Of course it takes three ropes. Why would it not take three ropes? I do have a box over here. Oh, please have rope. He's got rope. He's got plenty of rope. Crap. Crap on her. Uh oh, no more crafting. Take that shit. Can of corn. Can of corn. All I need is a can of corn. That one. I'm going to take that one. This one's about a shot. Let's see. What throws it here? Okay. Lucky number 13. <clears throat> the 13 tattooed on people is uh, 13th letter in the alphabet is M for marijuana. So if you see an old school person or even new school people have 13 on them, if they know what it means, then most of the time that person smokes pot. Once again, comment below and let me know if you smoke weed or not. So it's called rocks. Right? That's where I'm supposed to be. I want to. I know, I know, I know. I just want to check these. <laughs> I'm going to uh, check these one more time. At rocks. Yeah, okay, so I got to find scrap metal. Which is good, because I'm assuming hangar gates so I think they're over here <clears throat> probably gonna need scrap metal no surprisingly not okay that's right we're gonna go bust up some zombies asses we're going to the right Who's got the rock? I got the rock. Watch out, son. Mushrooms. Yeah, maybe. I only smoke pot, though. Speaking of, smoke break. And probably a little commercial break. Enjoy these commercials.
64 is here. Get into it. Just last night, I was lost in the jungle with Pitfall Harry, surrounded by giant scorpions and man-eating crocodiles. Well, Harry and I just grabbed the van, swung through the trees, and over the tar pits and found the jungle treasure. It was really neat. If you haven't met Pitfall Harry, you're missing the year's most incredible video game adventure. Pitfall for the Atari 2600 and in television. Since I met Pitfall Harry, no other man would do. Pitfall, designed by David Crane for Activision. Welcome back to today's video. <laughs> okay, and we're here at the rocks. Big boy. Oh, big boy. Come on, Marv. Uh oh. Other dude's on my ass now, too. He saw me. 
like that he was able to get out of there though because, like sometimes a game with the like, and, and don't get me wrong this got good quality graphics but sometimes a game with these kind of graphics like that could have been a pretty bad glitch you know what I mean I don't want to stuck in that motherfucker and be like okay well hold on guys I'll come back and uh we'll go ahead and uh I guess I'll finish the video in a little while no, that wasn't the case. Like, that guy was able to find his way out of there. So I like it. I think that was all the little bags. I could be very mistaken. one so far not that I see anyway and then uh, 
Oh no, wait a minute. Shit. So I'm not wasting all the energy. What's my back looking like? Because I'll take some shit back with me right now. Oh yeah, I got spaces. I got spaces. I believe I got one now. I do. Huh. That old scrap. Four of those. This is fine. Testing the waters here. <clears throat> Since he doesn't have an axe, he looks like he is running around. Collecting just what he has going in his bag for. And that he's already collected. Yep. Nice. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's good enough. seconds and if this was Google Map even at a running pace they'd be like 45 minutes is your destination that's cool man Right. Wait a minute. Okay. Now that's right. I'm a band of the Roxbury, man. Go forth, son. And chop down and bring me everything. And since he's on this little warpath. Smoke break. The other day I drank dish soap. <clears throat> and the worst part was I was all up on my girlfriend's ass about, oh, hey, baby, remember that this, this specific bottle right here is, uh, 
not water. It's just it's, it's laundry detergent. That's what it is, laundry detergent. I felt like I was in one of them stupid ass pot tie challenges, but I wasn't. <clears throat> I just wasn't paying attention. I was in between naps and shank. chugged it. Went to chug it anyway. I didn't down. I didn't down much. But it was not a fun day. No, it was not fun. In my experience, and to everybody out there, don't uh, don't go around chugging laundry detergent or eating Tide Pods. It's, it's bad for your health. <laughs> Chop, chop, chopping away. Uh, what's that song? He keeps hacking and whacking and sacking. Whatever. Chop, chop, chopping at me. He's hard working, though, brother. puppy in that one though what the hell is that star thing right days after later I'm not in the middle of shooting a game okie dokies start uh, putting all my stuff in you know, certain designated crates. Okay. Craft a garden bin. Garden bin. Garden bin. Does whatever a garden bin does. Okay, 
just select the garden bin. That's about right. That's where I was going to put it to. So garden bed selected. And even though this is like in the daily quest or whatever, I tend to wait on building certain objects. Like I did notice that there was a kennel. Where was that? There's a kennel in here somewhere. I thought I saw one. I thought I seen something about a kennel. But anyway. Okay. Well, that sounds pretty cool. What the hell was I saying? Stoner. Uh, no, I tend to hold off on um, building certain things until the game's like, hey, he actually wants you to build this or so and so for, you know, one of these quest things. That way you can go ahead and just get the. Because there are some games where you won't ever get that because you built it first. So it'll say, like, fix the hangar gates. But you've already done so on day one before you completed day one's quest and moved on to day two because you're like shit I want a motherfucking hangar or I want the observation tower like let me fix that up real quick and then you move on to day two and that's gone and then it's not replaced by anything so that 60 experience points is pretty much tossed out the window so I tend to hold off on uh, <clears throat> building certain things and that's my tip for you guys today that's my big tip See what's this observation tower I gotta do. Nails, metal, some grass. 